Hello everyone, welcome to Mo C D Culture Show and Tell. And on the next episode of the of the KMFDM Extravaganza, we're just gonna get right into it. Now to talk about this album, this was meant to be their last album. Again, going with the theme of just five letters for their for their title, you know, titles. You know that will kind of change eventually. They will, they do, they do, but they still try to stick to that format as much as they can, uh, as close as they can. But uh, it's adios, as in sayonara, bye bye. You know, you have a good one, because because it was supposed to be their last album. They were not supposed to make any more albums. Okay, and then something happened. Well, then a couple things happen, which I will get into. But let's go, first of all, into the track list. You have Adios, Sycophant, Do It Yourself, um, Today, Witness, Are You Okay, That's All, Full, Worm Garden, Rubicon, and Barrett. And, yeah, that's... Not a bad album at all either. I, I I I like it. I like it. It's something I do want to listen to more, but it has some. Uh, yeah, it has some really something I want to check out. I don't know if it's in this one, but I I should have did this before I started filming. You know, I don't like to edit these at all. You're gonna get the raw deal. As, a, <clears throat> as much as a sorry I have a little scratchy voice uh, throat so just bear with me I still want to get through these but is it in this here I don't know if it's this one no it may not be this one I don't know if I have that one anymore but it, I should have it so yeah, and that this time, and this is that, no, I don't think it's this one, nope, so, never mind, I'm not, just forget what I'm saying here, is not on this one, but, but I do remember this is a decent album, I, I do, I do like it, and it's something, yeah, I, I need to play again, it's going, it's going to go on my, uh, on my list of albums I, I need to play again very soon I don't, know, I don't want this to pile up there let me move let me move that so yeah so adios that was on the way out now the next album that kind of came out and I don't have this and I really I had it I had it when I lived up in Montreal but when I moved back here in Moncton, I kind of had to leave it behind. And I wasn't able to kind of... Many of these KMFDM CDs that I, that I have, I, I used to own at least a dozen of them before. Before I, before I moved to Moncton. And then I, then I had to rebuy them all over again, basically, which I did. But then, yeah, cause, but cause, but what I had, what what I used to have, and I don't have any longer, is is called um, the MDFMK, and and the name of the album was Rabble Rouser, yeah, Rabble Rouser. Uh, it was it was good. It had like Man the Torpedoes on it, like some really good stuff that, and. And what it was, it was basically a side project. It wasn't. It was. It was Sasha's way of kind of being like KMFDM, but not to be able to kind of experiment and go off and do something on his own and and not have to restrain himself to to a certain you know the the KMFDM. Because remember, they're supposed to be gone now adios the last album you know but there was a success with that and and so they kind of 
tested the waters and they put out this, okay? Strum and Drung. It's a KMFDM featuring Pig, a band called Pig. And it's a 2002 tour. Now, this was basically, again, to kind of promote their, their farewell, you know, with, with this album. Adios, you know, they were gone. But this has all like some cool live stuff. It has Do It Yourself, Attack, Reload, which I don't. I, I'm going to talk about that. Attack. Attack is a, an, an album just before Adios came out, okay? The album just before is, is Attack. And that was an album I had up in Montreal. I terribly miss it because it had a cool song called Save Me on it. That is just ah, uh, it's one of, it, again one another one of my favorite uh, K, uh, KMFDM songs. Or is that on? Or or is that on something else? Again, it's been a while since I heard Attack. Attack, yeah, Attack, spelled A T T A K, just like that. So they they had a song called Attack Reload on on that. You know, there's Dirty, there's Ultra, there's Boots. And Boots is that, uh, is that Nancy Nancy Sinatra cover, These Boots Are Made For Walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. Well, that's basically their cover of that. Then there's Yo Ho Ho, Find It, you know, <laughs> F It and Forget It, Strum and Drong, uh, Megalomaniac, Flesh, Wrath, Hot Hole, and Spit Sperm. Yeah, this is a, oh, this is something I like putting on too. This is actually, this is actually a really cool, cool show to listen to. But again, they were supposed to be done, but they were still getting so much success and so much more and so, so recognition. So they decided we're just going to continue. And so they put that knowledge of what they kind of ha had going on in that era just after just after they did Adios and with and with the success of uh, their their MDFMK and, and I mean Rebel Rouser and, and of course with this being being a success they put their knowledge into, I think, probably my second favorite album of KMFDM, right along with Nile. That you know the the odd cover and apologies. There again, this is an exception that doesn't have that same style. I mean, because it's a it's a live album, it doesn't kind of count in the studio stuff of the stuff that Brute has has has, has artistically drawn. Like like with Adia, look how busy that album is. That cover. Look at the, look how much detail he crammed in there. I think it's awesome what he did with that with that that album cover. Yeah, yeah, and there's other album covers that has that de that level of detail too. But yeah, this album, World War Three, I think it's friggin' awesome. Yeah, they, 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 when they came back, they came back with a bang. Like I said, just as powerful as as Nile is. I love this whole thing and there is something with this album that you know you look at the titles okay it starts off with World War three and it ends with no whenever I play this I play this I play the songs in reverse order because that is actually you know the way that they were probably the way they're set up. You can well, you put the album on the way it is and, and listen to the songs in this order if you like you know but when I I but but 
three out of every four times, yeah, three out of every four times that I play this, I usually play it in reverse order because it's just, it's just a more, a better, a, just a little bit of a better experience to listen to it because it's it's intended. You start off with the intro and you then you get, you have revenge with morons and then the bullish bombs and bigotry. Then you get the stars and stripes. Then you have the pity for the peons, uh, the pious, or and then last things, then a jihad. Then you get blackballed, and then from here on out, there's World War Three, and to end with World War Three. I I I just think it's just it's just so more much more poetic going in reverse order, because it has the introduction, you know. But then they decided, hey, let's just put them in the reverse order on like so people people start with World War Three and they end with the intro, you know, where they introduce the band, you know. But I I love starting it in reverse order because it's just yeah, it's just a it's just a cooler I find it just a cooler album. It really and some people may argue that it really makes no difference the order you listen to the album because it's and you know, it's trackless is a trackless. Some bands no, no, no. Some bands the order of the tracks, like the song titles and how even sometimes how long the songs are, is so important to the the to the identity of a of an album. You know, every every like. Every every little aspect of an album is is not always, but when they are thought out, when they are put in a package in a, in a very specific way, yeah, it can it can it, it just makes it so much you know it gives it that it gives it its character its uniqueness you know I I I I, I love CDs and music so much. I just wish I, I I just hope this format never goes away. You know, I hope like I say I wish they could just continue making more in this format. Let's go into the next album which is oh yeah, they just keep going with some some more some more raw power with how rock and how Ruck is, is sort of, is, is, I know what that means. It's German for gung-ho. You're going all gung-ho. How Ruck. You're gung-ho. So, and, you know, it starts off with Free Your Hate. Then the title track of How Ruck. Then You're No Good. Ah, oh, so awesome. New American Century. Real thing. Every day is a good day. Then that French, that French cover song of Mini, 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 Tout est Mini dans mon vie. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. Then there's a Professional Killer, which is, uh, again, another good jam. Feed Our Fame, Ready to Blow, and Auf Wiedersehen. You know, that's goodbye. And that's, I know that means, uh, yeah, have a good one, uh, or some, you know, it's a, uh, it's a salute or something in, in German. Like, like it means, I think it means farewell or goodbye or something like that. Yeah, yeah. How, how rock. That is a super awesome, friggin' awesome album. And again, look at those, look, look at those album covers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love how, 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 I love when art does that, when it, when it bleeds into the border. Yeah, that's uh, that's always a mark of a of a of a good thinking uh, artist. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's good. I like his style. I mean, he's. He, I mean, is he good as uh, the artist as uh, of Iron Maiden? Is he as good as Derek Riggs? Nah, there's no other album cover artist better than Derek Riggs in my opinion. Oh, there's some other ones that can be close, and I will I will entertain any argument from anybody who can point out to something better than Derek Riggs. But yeah, I I really really love Derek Riggs album covers. But this guy, oh yeah, he has a very unique flair, and he gives this band such a such a you know a character, a voice. 
But the next album I'm going to show is Brim Borium. And yeah, yeah, that is, uh, or actually, whoop, nope, sorry, sorry, wrong order. I want to show this first, actually, which is Tohu Vabohu. Yes, that goes first. That comes first before Brimborium. Yeah, look at that again. That's a that's a good cover. <laughs> I love that. I love that because you get because yeah, you get superpower. Looking for strange. Tohu Vabohu. I am what I am. Soft Uncraft. There's head case, Los Niños del Parque. And that's Spanish. That's a song in Spanish. Only KMFDM will have a song, like songs in German, in French, in Spanish. Yeah. And that's a, like, yeah, I love how they do that. They have the, you know, Fet Accompli. That's, you know, I think that's Italian or something like that. You know. Okay, there's not in my name, spit, spit or Swallow, and Bumea. Yeah. Um, tohu Vabohu. Uh, what is that? What does that stand for again? Uh, it's in the tip of my tongue. I, I, I know it's, uh, I know it says it here somewhere. Tohu Vabohu. Yeah. Bear with me a moment. Uh, forgive me. But I do need to look because I'm pretty sure it, it says it somewhere what it means. Uh, oh yeah, what does that mean? Tohu vabohu. Tohu vabohu. Uh, it, it, it's something from the Bible, you know. It, like in the beginning. Ah, I forget. I kind of forget now. I, I thought it may have said in the liner notes, but it, it doesn't. But yeah, I, I really do like this album. It's good. Now, now I can get to Brimborium, okay? Which is kind of a companion piece to this, because I, and again, look at that cover. Look at that. Greed, Price, Loss, you know, Wrath. <laughs> As being being the bombs that are being are being dropped on the sea, great cover art again, you know, so poignant. But yeah, and if you may may notice, is except for maybe one like uh, uh, an exception, maybe like you're no good because that's off another album. You see that this is a kind of a yeah this here Brimborium is kind of a remix of, of Tohu Vabohu because you see a remix of Tohu Vabohu let's go like, oh yeah, let me get this in order here you see a remix of Tohu Vabohu a Looking for Strange there's a couple of different mixes of Looking for Strange like one two two different mixes of uh, Tohu Vabohu uh, you, you got a couple of mix of Superpower Superpower yeah um, head case is a different, yeah. So, so yeah, that's a. So this is basically a remix of of Tohu Vabohu. I uh, again, awesome having it, awesome having it. Now, with a cool little quick story before I before I go, I know it's a little long, but a quick story. Up in Montreal. I used to be able to mix stuff together with a little a little uh, music editor editing program that my buddy kind of had installed onto my my computer, and what I used to love doing is taking the what what I think it's a I think it was not looking for strange but it was from How Rock. Uh, you're no good. Yeah. It's, it, oh, sorry. It's the you're you're no good from that. Okay, and kind of syncing it up with the you're no good from from the remix here on the bottom. You, you see the you're you're no good there from the you're no good here. Well, I used to mix them both into one track together, and it used to, it would create such a really like a really good pacing like 
super like full but you it's like it's because it's the same song but is it both they're both arranged quite differently but you when you match the when you match the beats together beat per, per beat and, it's, and when it, when it syncs up and you sync them up yeah it, it really it just like it created it's like this this ultra 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 mix of it that just was just like it just kept on ramping up and ramping up and ramping up and ramping up and just like wow it, it, like yeah it, 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 it was so fun so i'm going to leave you with that before we get into the next episode of of most cd culture show and tell where i or we still got more two more episodes to go this is a, like a five-parter this is only the third one Whew. So yeah, so everybody, please take care, be safe, I will see you on the flip side, and have a good evening, day, night, wherever you may be, peace.